If you want to practice working with the Epsilon Delta definition of continuity, here is an easy exercise for you. We want to prove that every linear function is continuous. So f of x equals ax plus b for real numbers a and b. We're going to prove it's continuous on its entire domain using the Epsilon Delta definition. Here is the Epsilon Delta definition of continuity. If you need a recap, I'll leave a link in the description if you need a more thorough review of that. The idea will simply be to take an arbitrary epsilon greater than zero, an arbitrary point in our domain, and then we'll show that the rest of this stuff works out by choosing a suitable delta. Here's the proof. We say let epsilon be greater than zero, take an arbitrary real number, so that's just an arbitrary point from our domain, and we'll set delta equal to we'll figure out what that has to be, but let's just keep working through it. So then for all x that are within delta of this point C, what do we have? Well, the distance between f of x and f of c by definition of the function will be the distance between ax plus b and ac plus b. The b minus b will cancel out. Then we can take the factor of a out as long as we keep it in absolute value bars. So this is equal to the absolute value of a times the absolute value of x minus c. Again, the b's here canceled out and we just factored out the absolute value of a. Now this is really nice because the absolute value of x minus c we can control. It's less than delta. So this is less than the absolute value of a times delta. So what should delta equal? Obviously, we want delta to equal epsilon over the absolute value of a. So we'll write that up here to patch our proof. Delta equals epsilon over the absolute value of a. So we have that this is equal to this, which equals epsilon, since the absolute values of a would cancel out. However, as we've done this proof, you probably notice it requires that we add the restriction that a is non-zero. Otherwise, we certainly cannot be dividing by the absolute value of a. That's not a big deal, however. If a is zero, then our function would just be f of x equals b for some real number b, and that is a constant function. If we were doing this proof with a constant function, well then literally any value of delta would work. Maybe we set delta equal to 1, then the absolute value of x minus c being less than delta would imply that the distance between f of x and f of c is equal to well, no matter what, it's just b minus b, which is zero, which is obviously less than epsilon. So that's just a little proof on the side for the case where a is zero and we're dealing with a constant function. That's really easy. But that completes the proof that every linear function is continuous on its entire domain. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and check the description for links to other continuity exercises as well as my real analysis playlist. <laughs> Couldn't even call myself up from instant Looks the law and it's regular I regulate my integrity I'm a secular anesthetic from my own energy I didn't try just to be regular